Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of the PVM Pro. Uh, this is actually a later uh, clip that you're watching right now. I kind of realized I forgot to make an introduction, so um, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, so in this episode, I'm pretty much just doing a ton of Slayer and getting lots of gains there. Uh, I did get level 70, which I'll mention all this stuff later in the episode. Um, so we're making lots of progress there. And it's going really well. So right now I'm just kind of AFK in my, my Hellhounds task, just using my Guthin so I can edit videos and stuff. But, um, you know, I realized I needed to make an intro. So this is pretty much it. So um, other than that, we'll move on to the, you know, actual interesting parts of, of the video. All right, guys, I'm on the rear end of this Bloodveld's task. And uh, I'm about to get a strength level, actually. I'm about 400... 500 XP off, I'm sorry, and uh, I was ranging these uh, earlier, and I do still prefer it, but I wanted to get this task done a little bit quicker, I only have about 30 left, you know, 31 more, and I'm getting almost 70k strength XP an hour along with 16k uh, Slayer XP an hour, which is very good in both categories, so I'm um, working out well, and there we go, 76 strength, very nice, um, I've been enjoying my new my dragon scimitar is obviously not as good as the whip, but it's definitely, you know, it, it's probably as good as my Ceridoma sword that I used to use, and obviously significantly cheaper. So it, it, it'll be a good weapon for Slayer for me in the long run. I'll probably be using it for most of my Slayer from here on out when meleeing, um, because I'm going to try to focus solely on strength for a while. Um, since I've unlocked everything I needed to attack, might as well be able to hit high, right? So. Uh, I'm gonna finish up this task here really quick and get another one typical process and Yeah All right guys, so I finally stopped putting it off and I made my way to nightmare zone where I am now Successfully barraging with actually a pretty good team a lot better than my last team where the guy Pretty much just left after like 10 minutes, but here we're actually getting pretty good XP I'm training on a defensive and I'm getting about 75k defense XP an hour along with 100k mage xp and 100k um hp xp which is absolutely great in both of in all those stats and for whatever reason i keep getting pushed off now um but i'm about 2k xp off of an hp level that'll be getting me 84 which is actually my highest stat um and then i'm also 28k off a of mage level and that'll pretty much tie that when i get that um but I'm real. I'm racking up the points here. I'm at 250,000. I got about 400,000 from the last one, and so I need I think 1.25 mil. I think is the number for Enchanted Slayer Helm, and I'll need a lot more than that because there's a lot of useful things with my herb lore goal. Obviously, I've been buying a lot of herbs. Gotten to 75. There's a lot of herb lore ingredients I can buy with my points as long with the scroll of redirection and other useful things like that so I'm gonna be here for quite a while just saving up points to try to buy stuff and I mean this is a really good method because I'm actually profiting it's it's ridiculous I all these runes are free except I bought these fire runes I'm making more money than I'm spending on prayer pots and repair costs and it's pretty good so uh, I'm just doing a th there we go 84 HP I'm just doing a uh, one hour trip here and uh, couldn't find anybody doing two hours. And that has been one of the problems with this is that it's such a big time commitment that you really need a huge chunk of time in order to do it. But uh, I think we've got it going now. So here in a few minutes, I will be getting, actually I'm close to 74 defense now too. Um, I'm only 16K off that. And then in a few minutes after that, I'll be getting 84 mage. I'm 25K off that. So really good XP. Uh, Probably the best way to train defense for me, in my opinion. This is the best way because it's easy, fast, and profitable. So, so yeah, if you haven't tried this out, they w I don't think they're going to be nerfing it. I don't think the poll passed, so it's always available. It's a very good method. And other than that, I'm going to continue doing this. And uh, we'll start seeing the levels coming in. All right, we're about here with 74 defense. Along with 84 mage, I am 300 XP off 74 defense, so literally like in about a second and a half here, I'll have that. And then mage, I'm 4.6k off 
thank you, Orion, for providing me with such good information. I love Orion. But anyways, um, there we go, 74 defense. I love how the defense logo is like a steel kite shield. Like, what's that, level 5? But anyways, uh, we're going pretty good here. I think we've got about 20 minutes of trip left, and I'll probably be getting... About 650 to 700k points, which will put me quite conveniently at about 100k less than what I need. So I'll have to do a whole nother run to get that for my uh, Slayer Helm, which I still haven't even made yet. So I guess it's not a huge rush, but I would have been doing Slayer right now. But I got another Black Demon's task, which is you know the uh, the classic task that. Uh, that makes me stop doing Slayer because there's like no good way for me to do it unless I can and so I decided at some point I gotta get some money together and get a cannon and better Slayer gear such as Proselyte so I can just stop skipping those because other than that I don't get any bad tasks I have spiritual rangers cancelled and, and other than that I mean Naive only assigns good tasks that I prefer anyways so um I'll probably be investing in a cannon here pretty soon once I get my Slayer helmet um, after many more hours of this nightmare zoning and uh, so yeah so I'm just gonna keep this up alright about one more good cast come on there we go 84 magic very nice alright guys so I just finished up another one hour nightmare zone run got 719k points which is ridiculous for uh, for an hour of maging get 719k points that's really good and I now have 1.8 mil points, almost 1.9 actually. And that is more than enough for in, imbuing my Slayer Helm. So I'm heading off to Naive now just because it's the closest Slayer Master I can think of, easiest one to get to. And we are going to go unlock the ability. I think I have all the things required to make the Slayer Helm and actually construct it. Uh, but I'll have to check and so we'll go here I'll have 40 points left over after this so I will be able to cancel one task if needed but um, I don't think I'm I think I'm gonna start doing black demon so I probably won't have too many things to cancel we'll do that pay 400 points confirm requesting there we go have that done so now I have 40 points left and that's pretty good so head up to the bank right here. I love how close the bank is to the cave and the Slayer Master. Everything you need for Slayer is so close together. So I will need to store that when I go to imbue it. But for now, need that. Need a gem. There's quite a few things I need. I don't... Let's see. Gotta get nose peg, face mask... What else? Maybe if I use these on each other, it'll tell me what I need. Earmuff, spiny helmet. I think I have both of those. Nope. Spiny. No. Don't have either of those. So, get out a little bit of money here. Go buy that from Naive. And we'll get this thing made. Alright, so nose peg, face mask, earmuff, spiny helmet, slayer gym, and black mask. I have all that except... Trade here, uh, spiny helmet, earmuffs. There we go. So I think I use all that on each other. There we go. Looks just as good as I as and you know I guess it looks just as good as it looked on everybody else. So anyways, we'll go here. Upgrades, imbue. There we go. So let's check these these stats really quick. It says as the stats of a rune full helm. So that's pretty good. And then plus it's invisible bonus, obviously, that you get on a Slayer task. Very nice. Going to go ahead and buy 775 of those. There we go. 43k points left. That'll do. So, very nice. So we have now completed that goal of getting a Slayer helmet. Slayer's going to be a lot more fun now. And uh, a lot faster. And I forgot to store that, so I'll go back and do that. But now I'll be able to do a lot more Slayer. Once I get my cannon, I'll be doing my Black Demons task. And uh, it'll get really good. So very glad got that done. And yeah. okay. Alright guys, so I'm headed up for a very 
very long walk up the Burthorpe Mountain, uh, Death Plateau, whatever you want to call it, because I am now heading off to God Wars Dungeon for my first ever um, Spiritual Warriors Slayer task. I'm going to try them out. I don't know how well it'll go. I don't have a ton of points at the moment to skip them. Uh, so, you know, I figured that they'll be decent because I think they mainly prefer to attack Zamorak creatures so they won't actually attack me. And I can just, uh, you know, I'll reply to you in a second. And I can just, uh, you know, attack them without them attacking me. So it'd be pretty good. And, um, yeah, I think my only problem will be finding the right ones to kill, which ones are warriors and rangers and stuff like that. But it shouldn't be too bad. Um, now, if you notice, I actually am wearing a BGS, which I bought uh, earlier today. Got it for 5.8 mil, which is a pretty good price. I managed to sell a lot of my... Uh, sell a lot of my potions and I had about a 10 mil stack and I was able to do that. I'm going to go ahead and drink some energy pot. And uh, I, I mainly bought it just uh, for its spec and I plan to use it at, at Barrows or, wow, are you kidding me? I've fallen hurt myself. Like you're wearing like metal. How would you get hurt? But um, yeah, I bought it for its spec. It lowers defense. So for PVM purposes, it's probably either the second or third most useful behind SGS and then AGS obviously. Um, but I actually was using it for Slayer earlier and that is a big dude. And I managed to poke out a 38 which is almost 8 damage higher than, or it is 8 damage higher than my my last previous uh, max hit uh, which is incredible because I mean I think that lowers the enemy's defense level by 38 so that's you know really good. Um, so, so I like it. Uh, it's it's been good so far. I still have yet to use it at Barrows or any other higher PVM places. And uh, so yeah, I'm not sure how. I think this is God Wars Dungeon. I'm not sure how it works in this game. No, this is not it. How tragic is this? I'm not carrying a rope with me. My God, I completely forgot about that. Thanks, Jagex. So now I get to walk all the way back and get a rope, and now I'm very upset. Um, all my stats are drained. Very nice. Um. All right, guys. So after having done these spiritual warriors for about half a task now, they are, they actually aren't that bad. I mean, they're not they're not something I'm gonna hope to get. Um, but mainly just because of all the pain it is to get here. But uh, they don't drop anything, but I mean, for the most part, you can attack them without them attacking you at all. And I'm getting 11.4k Slayer XP an hour currently, a little bit more than that, actually, um, according to my Orion. Uh, but only like only like 40k Strength XP an hour. Um, but I mean, you can kill a lot of them when, they're, when they only have a few life points left. So, they're not, they're not too bad. Um, like I said, no drops and... Ooh, Clue Scroll. Never mind. So much for no drops. Talk about good timing. Um, I'm assuming that's a hard. We'll look at it. I think so, yeah. Um, so, that's that's good. You know, we're going to get third age plate chaps. And we're going to sell it for eight bills. So, that's not bad loot. Um, but other than that, I'm going to continue this task. I've got about 19k until a strength level. And that's really the only stat I have coming up anytime soon and I might get that this task I think let's see operate I've got 76 more so yeah I might get that um no way to estimate though because you're always doing different amounts of damage to these guys um they do hit fairly hard as you can see there but so just gonna finish up this task do that clue scroll afterwards and you know hopefully we'll get good loot on that I did four clue scrolls on my last Hellhounds task. I got four in the first like half of the half of the task, and you know got nothing. But um, so maybe we'll get better luck with this one. Oh, okay, never mind. That's not me. That's getting hit the twelve. Okay, so yep, just gonna finish this up, and we'll move on from there. All right, so we're finally done with this, and I didn't realize it. Pleasant surprise: thirty tasks in a row, and I get sixty points. Thank you, uh, being ten tasks in a row. Um, so that wasn't bad. Um, uh, I've already talked about that a little bit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get another task now, uh, and do this clue scroll here later. I also got three rune kite shields, which is nice, but 
you know, I'm on Ancients, so I've been, I can't Alk that yet, but I've been, uh, I've been saving up a lot of rune items to Alk, and, uh, it'll be fun when, you know, whenever I get back on regulars, I'll have a nice set of, uh, cash coming in from that, so, hope this ne next task is good, probably gonna be like Black Demons, but, you know, we'll see. Alright, come on, Naive, give me something good. Uh... Need another assignment. Hey, that's actually decent. I get to arrange this and I'll get more clue scrolls. So, gonna go ahead and get this clue scroll done so I can get more on that task, on my Hellhounds task, and then we'll move on to that and get some more gains. Alright, guys, this might be the final clue scroll. Or, nope, okay, never mind. Alright, guys, this should be it. And, okay. Well. All right, Jagex. All right, guys, it's going to wrap up episode five. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm currently still here doing Slayer. That's what I'll be continuing up into the next episode. I'm actually getting quite close to a 271 Slayer. I'm, I only have 89 more of these to kill for a Slayer level. I don't know if I have that many left because I don't have my Slayer helm with me. But I did get another clue scroll that I'll be doing here in a second. So, you know, maybe we can get, you know, like gilded trimmed third age um chest skirt for the next episode or something to begin it off and be very good make a lot of money i don't know but you know that's definitely not gonna happen thank you jagex so uh anyways once again i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like if you did leave a comment if you're feeling you know like you have something to say because i don't get any comments anymore it's it's sad i enjoy reading the comments so just just say like anything just type a letter i don't care just just do something so all right so that uh, time for me to stop talking here hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next episode